We're handing out grades at schools, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of huffing and puffing. Skip Bayless, what, what grade would you give Manziel? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, obviously, I expect a Jeez. whole lot, an awful lot, from this 21-year-old who could be a junior at Texas A&M. So even though this was only his second NFL preseason action, I'm going to be a tough grader today. I'm going to give Johnny Manziel a D, wow. a D for his effort last night or lack thereof. Number one, he missed a shocking number of throws he rarely, if ever, misses. Mm -hmm. Number two, he often looked a little overwhelmed by the Redskins' blitzes and their disguised veteran secondary coverages. And number three, and most disappointing for me, I did not see a single flash last night of Johnny football. I'm talking about the magic we just heard Coach Gruden refer to in our open. The magic that we often saw in college and then I also saw in his first preseason game at Detroit a week ago on the weekend. This time with the quarterback job on the line, it looked to me like Johnny Manziel was trying too hard to be the perfectly coachable rookie pocket passer. Mm. To do exactly what the coaches wanted him to do. Stay in the pocket, run through his progressions without running. That's not Johnny Manziel. Mm -hmm. Johnny Manziel is not a robot. I didn't like seeing a guy I think is a rare football player try to play extremely, excruciatingly, conservatively last night. Conventionally last night. So, in the end, I think Johnny Manziel needs to keep a defense honest with an occasional escape. I wanted to see more rollouts, and I definitely want to see just, just an occasional bomb because this kid can wing it deep. We saw that often at Texas A&M, and I saw none of the above last night in all the plays that Johnny played. So, as bad as he was, I still think he was a little better than Brian Hoyer was <laughs> last night. That's not saying a whole lot, but I still think he was a little he better was. than Brian Hoyer. Yeah. Bottom line, I would still start Johnny Manziel from what I have seen in two preseason games in the opener at Pittsburgh regular season. Um, honestly, I respectfully disagree with you, even though I do believe he was better than Brian Hoyer last night, who was simply pathetic. Was Two pathetic. completions in five right. series, that's just as pathetic as it gets. Brian Hoyer really should be ashamed of himself, considering the fact that this is his sixth year in the NFL, and he looked like a deer caught in headlights, all because of the buzz that was Johnny Menzel. Clearly, the pressure of playing professional football pales in comparison to the pressure that Johnny Menzel's presence brings to the Cleveland Cavaliers and the starting quarterback position because Brian Hoyer is clearly flustered. He is significantly better than what he showed last night. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. You are a flat-out embarrassment. We know that you're better than that regardless of what anybody thinks. Having said all of that, I would totally agree with you. I would give Johnny Manziel a D. It was not an impressive performance. The only thing I'd give him a B or an A for is acknowledging that he was pretty <laughs> close to pathetic. That, that's so I well give him, said. I give I'll him credit for that. taking accountability. But Johnny Manziel wasn't that impressive either. He completely mm -hmm. underthrew, overthrew, threw behind guys. Uh, you know, I, I just wasn't impressed with his passing ability at all. And the one thing that I will say, say that I am incredibly concerned about that speed that we saw against the Detroit Lions second unit we didn't see that that speed mm -hmm. being as conspicuous against the Washington Redskins whether it's D'Angelo Hall and the crew whether it's a safety like Philip Morris and Bakari Rambo mm -hmm. the list goes on and on they were in Johnny's face Kerrigan got a sack on him and oh, Hoyer yeah. uh, Jim, uh, Jim Haslett brought the rain yeah. you know you could tell you could see a conspicuous difference in the defense that Jim Haslett was running under Mike Shanahan and Jim Haslett is running under Jay Gruden. Clearly, Jim Haslett has the reins, and clearly he wasn't lying when he said he was reined in by Shanahan yep. because what I saw from the Washington Redskins was a team, a, def a defense with the ability to put pressure on the quarterback and boy were they bringing it they were all on far too many occasions it was like throwing in a phone booth for both Hoyer and Johnny Manziel they had no room no space no air to breathe the Redskins were all over so them. is that and their fault or Washington should, should we credit Washington well I think it's a combination of both I think that you don't ignore 
Washington because we we've believed for the last couple of years that they have the personnel to bring yeah, that kind of heat. You now, if it was if it came out of nowhere and then suddenly they were successful against Cleveland, we'd say, oh, Cleveland stinks. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we've been talking about Iraq, but who was hurt a couple of years was. ago and they came mm -hmm. back last year wasn't 100 percent. We were talking about Kerrigan who was out last year. You look at the acquisition of Hatcher and the crew. You still have D'Angelo Hall and Merriweather and those boys. You just say to yourself, and Ryan Clark, who, by the way, had a good hit on he Johnny Manziel yesterday, and his veteran leadership seems to be already showing. Yep. And, you know, I mean, listen, I look at the Washington Redskins right now, and I'm saying if that defense has any kind of potential and they show up, then indeed it does come down to RG3 mm -hmm. oh because that defense okay. seems like it's hell-bent on establishing I its agree. presence. And I didn't see Johnny capable of evading their pressure. And that, to me, stood out because, Skip, if he can't run the ball effectively against NFL teams, then he is not going to be what you think he's going to be. What do, what do you think he's going to be? I don't know yet. I, I have I no say, doubt about I, what he's going to be. I have doubts about what he's going to be if he can't run the football. Do you think he can't teams. run the football? I'm not going to say that okay. yet because I got to see. Trust I me. I got to see. This down. defensive front is going to do this to Nick Foles and to Tony Romo and to Eli Manning. They are legit. Okay. That's why I'm leaning But those toward, guys can't run. Okay. Okay, but I'm saying, but they're going to do this to everybody. No, and those guys can all beat the blitz, but they're okay. going to be all over them this year. Okay.